What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So, uh, a lot of people constantly ask about dusting statues. Now, there are precautions you can take to help reduce dust in your man cave, but dusting is something you have to do pretty much no matter what. No matter how good your ventilation system is in your house, or even if your statues are behind glass shelving, you still have to technically glass, uh, dust those glass shelves on the outside, which is obviously much easier than dusting the statue itself. I'd still argue that at least once every six months to once a year, you'd have to dust the statues inside the glass shelf. Because even if it seems like it's still, there's probably micro particles that could still get in and create dust. Nevertheless, I wanted to talk about a new dusting thing that I have come across. So this is my old method. I would basically use this, plug it in. I'd run a 50 foot extension cord and dust with this. And there is advantages to doing it this way, but also quite a few disadvantages. And we're going to talk about that. So first off, look how big this is. Pretty big. Two options for speed. Additionally, wind comes out of those two little holes, which are annoying because if you're dusting something, uh, it's going to blow on the top and bottom, which I don't want. I want it only to come out of that. Uh, secondly, I hate having the cord, and that's also kind of heavy. And this is X power. Link in the description below if this is the route you want to take. Now we have some alternative options. Let me show you. I got two of them, actually. So first is this little guy. Check this out. So this has one attachment, and it has this little brush, which is actually really nice because then you could literally brush as you're dusting and this is pretty soft brush and it has this little knob that allows you to control the speed and the speed is quite powerful on this bad boy i would say it's as powerful as at least number one more than number one on this not quite as number two but it's definitely powerful enough you can see a little fan here and it only blows out right here uh, we'll turn it on in a sec uh, it charges via usb-c and in terms of battery life I can typically dust like uh, one of the top shelves in a statue room, like the entire top shelf in, let's say, my video game room. I couldn't do the bottom shelf, only the top shelf. But this will come extremely useful because, one, I'm going to now have this every time I unbox a statue, and I'm going to be able to dust it. And instead of me going, <laughs> which I know you guys are annoyed with, uh, I'll just use this. Secondly, and I'll leave a link in the description below of all that all of these items. This is the second one. Uh, this one is, you know, as you can see, quite a bit bigger, has double the battery life of this. And this one, also USB-C, 10,000 milliamp battery, that is 5,000. Uh, this one has a plethora of attachments as well. This is a weird attachment because it basically would blow right here. I guess if you need to insert and just want it going up and down, that's kind of weird. It does include just like a standard brush. Uh, right here, sort of like a toothbrush, which this is actually quite useful. You get something similar to that, but it comes out in that shape, but it does have brushes. And you can also just remove that. So this would be like your typical attachment. Or you could just have a standard like this. And then there's also a secondary brush, you know, so you can, you know, dust things how you would. Is this kind of a harder brush? It's not quite as soft. I don't think it'll damage the statue by any means, but it's more of a harder brush. I don't think it'll damage anything, but it's definitely not as soft as like those makeup brushes that Infinity will use. So I probably would not use that on silicone and certain material. This one, there's a few ways to dust with this. You can press this button and there's level one, you know, which is okay. It's not that strong. Level two, you know, which as you can see, quite powerful. And then level three, which is like turbo mode, which this is really powerful. You know, like this is definitely the mode that would, uh, if you're not careful, that could damage some statues. You definitely don't want to do that on delicate stuff. You can also just hold the power button and basically use this knob or this thing right here and control the speed like that. So kind of a few different options with that one. This one, we got to turn it actually on. So now it's on, and you control this knob. So let me show you. That's the strongest mode, which is pretty powerful, as you can see. Like, I don't think it needs that fast a speed. 
you can just see, like, definitely, also, like, the most powerful mode on this is really powerful. I mean, heck, if you turn this thing on, look at that. That's on carpet, put it on. <laughs> this thing is crazy powerful. You know, so... I would say you definitely don't need the full power, but like I said, if you want to, let's say, dust the statue, this is dusting while brushing. These brushes are very soft. So this will be a really effective way of brushing. Now I've got to brush the TV. You know, you've got to dust your statue, folks. Depending on the statue, you can obviously strengthen it. But there are certain parts that you have to be very delicate with. Example, these bats. I do not want to use the most powerful mode on these bats because they would fly off and break. On this, I got to be careful of the, like, uh, right here on the teeth. That, that'd fly off if I did top speed. So when I'm dusting these ones, you know, I could probably go like this. You know, and the bats are, you know, they're moving a little bit, but they're fine. Now, this will allow me to dust this. No problem, as you can see, dust the statue. But this is super convenient. Uh, I especially like this one because of that brush and I like using this knob better than the way that one works. But that one does have a longer battery. Like it'll last a full statue room and I would say it's slightly more powerful. It's advertised as 300,000 RPM and this is 150. So technically that should be double the power but I feel like it's maybe only 1.3 times more powerful. But this is very light, so your hand doesn't get tired. You can you know, go back without having to worry about like a cord to get like the back of the statue. Where this one, you have the cord, which could, in essence, hit your statue, damage your statue. So this is a lot safer, easier, convenient. Takes about maybe an hour to charge this bad boy. But, you know, it's just really convenient. You know, you know, and to dust this water base on cinema cat. You know, and I could go obviously much more powerful if I want to. Dust these threads, you know, get behind. You don't have to worry about any stupid cord. I'm going to be brutally honest. I don't dust as often because of how inconvenient that cord is. Additionally, not just the cord itself, but having to set up an extension cord. It's a whole process. It takes me like four hours to dust with this thing. Where this, I've been dusting almost daily now. <laughs> Not that it's needed, but since I got these, I'm, you know, been kind of excited with them. But I've just been dusting a little bit, little by little. Like when I'm viewing my statues at night and I go into one room, I'll just, you know, casually just start dusting. It's just like, okay, let's uh, dust this uh, silicone hand right here. You know, dust this, this glass, Freddy. You can always see dust on Freddy's face, so let's just dust this bad boy. So definitely, in my opinion, a way better option. You know, I'm sure long term that will last longer because it's not relying upon a rechargeable battery. You know, so that is the one nice thing about that. It will last you longer. I've actually, that's my second one. My first one went to crap. So... It lasted, I think, like four years, and then it went to crap. Uh, these, I don't know how long they'll last. I mean, a few years, I'm guessing, before the battery just can't hold a charge. It depends on how often you use it. But they're definitely quite convenient. You can already see, like, a little bit of dust buildup in there. So, yeah, there's some dust right there. So that is the first thing, obviously. you got to dust your statues. You have to understand what parts can fall off if they're delicate, magnet isn't super strong take it off like for me if i dust that pan's labyrinth i have to take off that fairy on his hand that will fall off immediately upon dusting and will break the other fairies are fine but that one is a very tiny peg so i can't do strong wind on it you know the way it is for the most part you know like sarah connor got to remove that little cigarette or that will blow out if it blows out it's not a big deal so you know that's obviously one thing another thing i like is having a mini vacuum no, and I've done a video on this before, but I got this thing, uh, clean my bricks. Uh, but this basically, you know, can uh, pick up little styrofoam or dust or whatever. For example, over here, I noticed this earlier while working. It's like a little piece of styrofoam right here. 
So check this stupid thing out right there. So we're just gonna, you know. Go ahead and get anything. But basically, as you can see, you know, it's just a nice little thing. So I use this a lot. I have two of them actually. So this is another convenient thing that I think helps when you see something, uh, you know, little specs, styrofoam or whatever, use that to pick it up. Additionally, I have a robot vacuum that goes off every single night and picks up all the dust. It definitely picks up quite a bit of dust. I have a Remy Halo here in my, inside there, my furnace. There's a Remy Halo. It's supposed to make like dust fall to the ground instead of just, you know, lingering in the air. So the dust falls to the ground and then my vacuum picks it up. And of course you have air purifiers. Also, you know, these help. So this is like my big main one, but then I have, you know, one behind the TV, TV area gets dusty, one behind my couch, one over there. So four in this room, one in this room, one in that room, one in that room, one in the bathroom. And then I have multiple upstairs, you know, and I leave them on 24 seven in automatic mood. But that obviously helps. Dusting is a huge part of being a collector. You gotta do it. Otherwise, you know, if dust accumulates so much, it can ruin the statue. I have seen that happen. So you wanna dust, you wanna be able to enjoy your collectible. So dust, you know, I would say just dust when you see visible dust. Sometimes you don't see visible dust, especially like my silicone bust. I may not see the dust. You know, it's hard to see it on the skin, but I still dust them, you know, at least every few months because that's what it recommends. So, but yeah, but the big thing is these super awesome, really enjoy them. I got them off of Amazon, link in the description. I highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.